Now we want to create uh, our list box in a user to hinter. So we have to import to hinter SDK and then uh, we have to um, create our uh, our object here. Uh, win equal to k.tk this is the main class of tkinter and then we are going to put our objects our widgets into the into the window uh, let's jump this function here and let's go to the entry okay this is the entry where if i start my uh, the final result you see this is the entry this is the button that when I click the button I have okay the enter so we created this list box uh, so this is the entry equal to k dot entry this is the widget to get the input of the user and so I will have win that is this object here that is the window itself the main object and then uh, we will have text variable equal content uh, we use this um, parameter here uh, linked to this content variable uh, to get what you write inside the entry text so you have um, the content equal tk dot string where this is the object that helps us to to get this text that we that the user uh, insert in the in the entry widget then we have a button to to press and to let the what we write here to go inside the list box uh, so we write something in the in the entry uh, with the button what we wrote here goes here in the list box and this is the text that will appear on the button and this is the function that it, that will um, be um, will play will uh, be called and will uh, act when the button is pressed so let's go to the function this is the function add item and in this function when the button is pressed the list box we will insert in it at the start uh, even if there is the end um, at the start the content get so this variable here this is linked to the entry so with the button what is written here goes here and this is we end the code with the win main loop okay so let's see in action our window again so we in the entry here we write item one we add item goes into the the list box we say item two we add it and goes right here if we don't change the name we will continue to add in the next lesson we will see how to delete the mm, selected item for now we we are done